This next tutorial, we're going to be talking about printing values to the screen, to the terminal, be able to see results in the way that we want to see them. Now, we can use the DISP function to display values. So, for example, we're going to display this string, chicken hatches, and says, hello world. If we just leave that off, okay, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here, and leave that off, and leave off the semicolon. There's a comment right there as well. Okay, then I get A and S. Okay, and then I can also uh, DSP um, A and S. So that puts it into the variable answer, and then I can display that later and work with it. Okay, so A and S is just the last one that was not, that did not have a semicolon after it. Okay, just retained the answer there. All right, and if I clear the variables, then it's still going to be there. So it's almost like I said that, and then uh, chicken hatches, hello world. All right, so another way uh, that I'm gonna just show you is if you have a number. All right, let's say the value pi. Now we might want to round off at a certain point. So for example, in Octave this doesn't work, in MATLAB it does. Uh, but if I just want to round off to the nearest integer in octave, uh, that is uh, just 3. But let's say I wanted to um, be able to show more digits than that. Okay, so I can use f print f, and then I'm going to use in single quotes, I'm going to use a percent, and then dot 2f. So two uh, decimal places after the period and then I do comma with the pi. All right, or I could change that to 20. Now, if I, there's a certain number that just displays automatically. All right, I can also just, before that, just once, I can do format long. And then after I display values from there on out, it's just going to format them in the long format with more decimal places. Okay, you can also, um, there are a couple more to choose from. There's long, which is the second one, uh, but you can do short E, long E, and so on. All right, so different ways to display numbers. You can also, in this F print F, all right, you do point. 2f, you can also show the number of total spaces that you want it to occupy. All right, and then I put in comma pi, and I could say the value of pi is, all right, I put in 10 decimal places if you just wanted to adjust. Okay, there I have a string. Okay, so let's also talk about displaying uh, the types of variables. If I run this, I get eggs. That's going to be a double precision, even though it looks like an integer. Egg type might be a platypus egg, and that's a character array. And then yes equals one, or that is true. It's a Boolean or logical, and uh, it's you can see it's a logical here. All right, so now uh, using information from the prior lesson on variables, we want to be able to put two together. We're going to use the string to num, okay, string to number or number to string to convert from strings and numbers. So here's my number string. I'm going to just see what type it is. Okay, that's going to be a character. And then I'm going to convert it to a number, and that's a double. And then I want to be able to put them together. All right, there's my number string. And I've converted this to a number, so this is going to give me, um, okay, it converted it for me, a numeric to character that was number 62 in the ASCII data set, but I don't want to convert that ASCII. Maybe I want to put those two together. So let's go ahead and do uh, num to string, 
and then have 62, 62. Okay, so I've just put those together, but I had to put them as the same data types. All right, um, you could also put two variables together, put something here and put something here. Okay, and that puts them together. I have to use these square brackets and then I have variable one and variable two separated by a comma. All right, you can also, uh, you know, other um, arrays here, these. Okay, I have, you're cooking the egg at 45 degrees Celsius, cool down. So I've pieced these together. All right, uh, let's go on to displaying results. So Jupyter Notebooks will automatically display the answer if you leave off, um, or MATLAB or Octave will automatically display if you leave off the semicolon. If you don't, then it'll display both of them. Okay, so semicolons are a good way to just suppress the output if you'd like. All right, another way is to use the DISP function and you'll get the output for the line but without the ANS. All right, so here's our first activity. We're gonna make two variables that will add two numbers when you print them together. It's kind of like the example above, but use numbers in your variables. Okay, so variable one. All right, and that's gonna be two. And variable two equals three. Okay, so we're gonna use numbers in the variables and we'll print them together. So if I did V1 plus V2, I get five. But if I do the num to string and then the num to string, then I'm going to get a different answer. I'm going to get 23. All right, now if you define the same variable twice, it simply changes the values. Okay, so here we have uh, octave, we have test three, and test equals egg, or this could be Python as well. So do the same thing here, except now print the variable and class in between each assignment so you can see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. I'm going to, um, print the class and the class. Okay, so you can see this first one, it's a double precision and this one, egg, is gonna be a character. Now again, I can convert it to 32-bit integer, change the type. Okay, so I can, uh, there's a couple other functions that help you convert the variables to different types. All right, uh, let's go ahead and make the output of this display 500. I can just multiply by five, and uh, there is my equation equal to 500. So even within the display, you can put in math operations and then just have it display the output. Okay, for this next one, we're going to go back to the temperature control lab and connect the USB cable to the Arduino. Again, white power cable is not needed for this exercise. We're going to calculate the median of three temperature values and uh, create a single line that displays the three values, such as this. All right, we can combine those. I've just started it for you here. Let's go ahead and just run this once to be able to see uh, the values. And I'll just go ahead and leave off the semicolon for each one. Okay, uh, it looks like, okay. I have um, an issue with running it. Let's just see what that issue is. Okay, I'm in octave. And everything looks good. Let me come down here and see what the problem is. Okay, it looks like a reset is needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug the 
or hit the reset button on the temperature control lab see if that fixes it and then plug it back in All right, so it's running now, and you can see the temperature one, two, and three, and then you can also see the median value. I'm gonna run this again just to see if it'll give me some other values there that aren't always the same. Maybe you have to run it a couple times. There's a certain amount of precision. Um, looks like I'm, like I'm getting the same values every time. Okay, well, let's go ahead and print this out. I'm gonna just copy this and then add to it. All right, and let's keep adding to this. I'm gonna just copy this part of it and paste, change that to TC3. And then I need to put in a um, and here, and then is. All right, if you ever want to continue a line because it's getting too big, you can put in the three uh, decimal places. All right, is, uh, and then let's do another comma, and then num to string, and then put in tm, and then put in the period. All right, let's see if that'll work. Uh, num to string. Try that one more time. All right, so we have some values there. If we ran it a couple more times, and this, these were actually changing a little bit, we could see the median. We could verify that the median was working. All right, so there we have the median twenty seven point one seven five. And again, if we wanted to do something like format long, then it's going to format it, uh, hopefully just with more decimal places there. And so you can see that it uh, still output those with the num to string with the same number of decimal places as before. Okay, so that's it on printing. I hope you uh, learned a little bit on this. It's very important when you're displaying results, especially to a user and displaying them to a console that you're giving just the right amount of information, whether that's significant figures for the numbers or uh, displaying them in a way that make them intuitive. Uh, many ways to print. Um, there are many ways to take numbers and format them or convert numbers back to strings and combine them with other strings.